Hello again, everybody. Uh, fortunately, my phone, while going to work, sabotaged me, and therefore my Premier League uh, summary from yesterday, Boxing Day conference and so on, got a little bit cut short. And yeah, I don't know what happened. Um, actually interrupted me quite some. Uh, but yeah, let's do it quickly here. Um, first off, it was a lot happier than what Serie A went yesterday. So uh, that made me happy. Uh, and in a way, I always said I like Serie A and the Primera Division and then uh, the Premier League. But this season I'm getting a little bit into the Premier League, especially the Liverpool's title run kind of gets me excited. Um, which is a little bit un un unexpected, but I actually really want Liverpool to win this year. And given that I always say, oh, they, don't, they didn't make me so happy with the 2005 final, even before that I had some sympathies for Liverpool, and now, yeah, they're coming back. And given that um, teams like Chelsea that I used to like uh, also give me into Russian oligarchs, I think I'm... I can very well live with Liverpool being so good and supporting Liverpool. Uh, Boxing Day started off kind of <laughs> with a 1 1 draw between Fulham and Wolves, where for a long time it looked like a nil nil. Then Fulham gets uh, the win, uh, they gets the, not the winner, the go ahead goal. Uh, Wolves equalizes shortly before halftime. And then, oddly enough, uh, there was a huge chance for Mitrovic that got just scratched off the line. And yeah, this would have been an important win for Fulham, but uh, fortunately, they didn't get it. And then the big conference starts, and it's kind of funny because the goals came almost instantly. Everton scores three within 20 minutes, I think. Let me, uh, let me check. Now I can. That's uh, maybe the advantage of doing it here. Yeah, the 20 seconds they uh, made the 3 0. Mina. Uh, in the second, scores the first goal on the Boxing Day conference. Shortly thereafter, Liverpool, uh, Lovren with a wonderful um, kind of a drop, drop kick, half volley, uh, was in the 11th. Uh, he scores the 1 0 there. Uh, Tottenham, I think, came a little bit later. Now I'm going, going crazy here on the phone. Please excuse me. Yeah, Ericsson in the 16th. So everything goes well. Uh, it was actually City now also. Yeah, in the 14th. Uh, City scores uh, the 1 0. So, you know, very quickly the goals kept coming. I actually was busy with uh, other things as well, but I uh, kind of could follow what was ha happening in the Premier League. So, it all seemed it's going that all the favorites are going to win. It's going to be many goals scored, but there's not going to be a really any uh, surprise. And then the first bang came. Albright in the 19th makes the equalizer for um, Leicester. And then things uh, got interesting. I think uh, Tottenham, let me get to the Tottenham uh, game. The, the, that game escalated and quickly. It was the Son uh, made it 2 0, and then um, Lucas Moura made it uh, 3 0 just before halftime. So, um, you know, it was. Uh, that one was well well decided, but at that point then we had that uh, Liverpool was sitting at 51 points and City and Spurs both on 45 points. So Liverpool had actually a big lead and it was down to City of making something happening uh, if they wanted to be successful. Um, the other one that you looked a little bit at is Manchester United because Ole Gunnar Solskjaer um, well, uh, is having how his home debut. They actually had a successful start to his uh, career and you know the team seemed a little bit uh, relieved again. I mean Pogba is playing. What a concept. Have one of the best players in the world playing for your team. And yeah the second half um, it was I, I was actually quite kind of looking uh, how is how, how's it gonna be with Liverpool against Newcastle get the game home safely or is Newcastle who is actually down there uh, get it going. Excuse me. Quick drink. Um, as it turned out, uh, Liverpool got comfortable. Uh, Salah 
they got a penalty and Salah makes it uh, two nil um, right after halftime. And that, that at, at, at that point, Liverpool was not looking back. I mean, they are really looking comfortable. And to end the game, uh, Shakiri makes it then um, four nil. I think for Pinho. Uh, three nil and Fabinho four nil, and this was uh, late in the game. So, but you know, at two nil, uh, the game was safely in Liverpool's hands. Uh, Tottenham also escalated quickly. I think uh, they made a four nil through Kane around the 60th. Let me check this, and then uh, it was five nil. Uh, Son makes his second in the 70th. So, those two had their big victories. Uh, Rev wrapped up and it was really all down to City. What is City gonna do? And City really needed to get something going. They tried, they tried. You could see, I mean, the conference fortunately then focused almost exclusively on that game. Uh, and you could see it was City tried to have control, but Leicester hung in there and actually uh, gave City a lot of trouble. And I mean a lot of trouble. And they gave them so much trouble that they made the 2-1. Um, they got the lead in, I think it was uh, around the 80th, let's say, 81st, Ricardo Pereira um, makes the goal and at that point City even drops behind Tottenham. Liverpool must have been overjoyed. I mean, at that point you're up 4-0, uh, you're having a great run, you look quite comfortable, you're still unbeaten. Spurs, a uh, team that you actually Beat comfortably with all the scoreline. You could have <laughs> you could have given up a goal, but this was kind of Spurs is now in second place and City in third. You gotta feel good as Liverpool at the moment. And for City, the news got worse because Delf got sent off. It was kind of a stupid red card, but uh, you know you 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 cannot have this tactic. I was happy. I was happy as I said. I'm for Liverpool. I don't want. As much as I respect Guardiola, and I think the team that he is assembling is a team that is nicely watching. There's just so much wrong with the overall setup of City that uh, irks me a lot. And therefore, yeah, uh, this makes me really happy. And I still like Leicester. I mean, ever since they won uh, the Premier League in 2016, I think <laughs> Leicester is one of those teams. I mean, I never will be a huge Leicester fan. And yeah, they had the big drama with their um, owner dying in a helicopter crash right there on the pitch but still acts uh it's a team that you just gotta love i just don't like that they don't have puma shirts anymore they sh uh, adidas uh looks a little bit wrong for leicester to me well yeah that makes it uh, you know i still have the feeling that C if city gets on a big run uh you know liverpool hasn't shown much weaknesses yet uh, they are barely giving up goals um uh, they look comfortable most of the time I'm still waiting for this one patch that they, uh, maybe a rough patch that they might hit. Um, City has it right now. They really hit a rough patch, and I, I wonder if they're cracking under pressure, if, if something else is going wrong. Because everyone expects City to win everything up until the Champions League. Maybe they're putting no more focus on the Champions League, although at the moment there's no Champions League play. I don't know what's happening. But Liverpool seemingly has City's number at the moment, and that's got to feel good. I have to check. I will still think it's kind of evenish in the run in, but Liverpool looks comfy. I also Spurs gotta pay, give them a lot of respect. Other games, City, uh, United then won three one against Huddersfield. Huddersfield, uh, Pogba making two, making three nil. Huddersfield pulled one back very late. Palace Cardiff was a goalless draw. That was one that kind of got overlooked because of that. Brighton and Arsenal, uh, two interesting goals. Uh, long ball that Aubameyang then uh, gets the lead. Aubameyang has two or three more chances. Uh, and But Brighton hits the equalizer because Lichtsteiner is completely misjudging a long ball uh, right in the path of uh, Brighton and uh, makes it 1-1. The game was notable on jerseys that I think it's the first time that Arsenal played with a Navy kit with red socks. I read that yesterday. That was interesting. Another one is that Chelsea beats Watford 2-1. Um, Azar getting both goals, which was 100th and 101st for um, Chelsea. Uh, I think the first goal came right before halftime and then in a stoppage time of halftime Watford manages to equalize off a corner kick. There was a long stoppage time in the first half, but then Chelsea kind of controlled the game. Uh, um, you almost want to say played it safely home, which was not entirely 
uh, the case, but it looked comfortable. And yeah, so Chelsea gets vital points. And now if you look at the table, we have Liverpool 51, uh, Spurs 45, City 44, Chelsea 40, and Arsenal 38. So those are the ones that are for the last Champions League spot is between Chelsea and Arsenal, uh, very much so. Chelsea dropping off a little bit. They had a great start to the season, but they were right up there with Liverpool and City, but they were the first ones to crack. And uh, Maybe things are catching up to them. Uh, United in six spots, 32 points is a little bit out of it. But, you know, if United can get something going, maybe they can get within this, uh, yeah, four, fifth Chelsea in the Chelsea Arsenal range. It doesn't seem all that impossible. But then I would say if everything else, Leicester, 28, Everton, and what for 27, Wolves, Bournemouth 26, also West Ham 26, they have a uh, game in, at hand. Brighton 24, that's basically where um, I would say this is the mid table and everything else is playing for relegation. Well, I think it was a better video than the one that I would have made in car. The one I made for Serie A was a mess this morning, please excuse that. Um, in the evening, I'm gonna give you one more last shirt because I think it fits quite nicely before I make a break and there are only two last shirts left. Uh, from my collection and yeah I hope you enjoyed this video uh, give me a thumbs up if you did so uh, subscribe to my channel right around here if you want to see more videos like this where I summarize what I saw or I also talk about my jerseys also check out the playlists right here and yeah I will talk to you soon bye